This is page 110. This is the guided practice for lesson 5.1. We're dividing whole numbers. And depending on how long it takes to um, how long it takes to get through these problems, this video may cover just the first half of the page, and we may have a part two for the second half of the page. Alright, number one it says estimate 31,969 divided by 488. Would not be uh, cheating to go figure out, we could punch this into a calculator, 31,000. 969 divided by 488. Uh, we know our answer is going to be about 65 something. So if we get close to 65, we'll be in really good shape. All right, so here's the deal. Um, if you round 31,969, if you divide, if you round that to 32,000, and then if you round 488 to 500, um, your numbers won't be compatible. And what I mean by that is your dividend, 32,000, is not divisible by uh, 500. So instead of rounding up to 32,000, I think we should round down to 30,000. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it over here as 30,000 over 500. And watch how easy it is to divide. If we divide by 10, we cancel those zeros. If we divide by 10 again, we divide, we cancel those zeros. Now we have 300 divided by 5. 5 goes into 30 six times with another zero makes it 60. 5 goes into 360 times. And when we did our calculator, we computed that it would be about 65. So that means we rounded uh, just fine. 30,000 divided by 500 is about 60. All right, moving on. Number 2, 3, and 4, what they do here is they give you a space to um, solve. If you don't like these, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight. If you don't like these things right here, uh, if you want to solve these on separate paper and then just record your answer, that's fine. Or on a whiteboard, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use these um, it's kind of a template for division. Number two, 32 doesn't go into 3, and it doesn't go into 30, but it does go into 307 9 times. 9 times 32 is, I'm going to do that right now, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28, so I've got 288. And they actually do the subtraction for you, and you get nine, 19, and then you bring down this 2. And now my next question I ask myself is how many times does 32 go into 192? And I'm just going to make my best guess here. And I think it's 6. And the reason why I think that is because uh, 6 times 30 would be 180. And that's a little less than uh, 190. So I'm going to try 6 here. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So I get 192. I guessed perfectly. It's 96. And then I'm going to prove that by 6 times 32 is 192. And 192 minus 192 is 0. So on the line here, I put my quotient, which is 96. I'm going to erase this for neatness sake and move on to number 3. 4,539 divided by 51. 51 does not go into 4 or 45, but it does go into 453. And we need to figure out how many times. It's going to be either 9 or 8. And I don't think it's going to be 9. If I did 51 times 9, I think it's going to be a tiny bit too big. Check this out. 9 times 1 is 9, and 9 times 5 is 45, and 459 is bigger than 453, which means it has to be an 8 here. It's a messy 8, so I'm going to fix it. 8 times 1 is 8, and 8 times 5 is 40. And they do the subtraction for you, and they, you get 45, and then you get to drop this 9 right here. But I want you to um, notice something. I'm asking myself how many times 51 goes into 459, and just a minute ago I did 51 times 9 is 459. It means it goes in 9 times. It's why I never erase this stuff. When, when, when you're working on a problem, leave it till the end, because it might come in handy later. 9 times 51 is 459. 459 minus 459 is 0. The quotient is what's written right here. It's 89. And there is no remainder on this one. Number four, 93, I'm sorry, 9,317 divided by 95. 95 doesn't go into 9 or 93, but it does go into 931. I'm thinking it's going to be 9 times. I'm almost positive it's going to be 9 times. So I'm going to multiply here, and if my number is smaller than 931, then I'll know it's the right number. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 4 is 85. I get 855. So I'm going to put a 9 here. 9 times 95 is 855. I'm going to subtract, which means borrowing. This is going to become 11. This is going to become a 2. And this is going to become an 8. And that becomes 12. So 11 minus 6 is 5. I'm sorry, 11 minus 5 is 6. And 12 minus 5 is 7. And I get to drop the 7 right here. 
Now I have 767 divided by 95, and I don't know the answer to that, so I'm going to make a guess and check here. If I rounded 95 up to 100, uh, 100 would go into 767 uh, uh, seven times, so I'm going to try 7 here. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 6 is 63 plus 3 is 66, and that seems like it's probably a little too low. So I'm going to go back and revise my guess. I'm going to try 8, because 7 might have been too low. So I'm going to try 95 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 4 is 76. And 760 is a little lower than 767, so 8 was the better guess. So I'm going to put an 8 here. 8 times 95 is 760. 767 minus 760 is a remainder of 7, and that's all I have to do. My answer here is 98 remainder 7. It's our first one we've done on this page with the remainder. Alright, we are going to take a couple more minutes to do a few more problems here in the middle of the page, and then we'll make a second video for the bottom of the page. We'll do 5, 6, maybe we'll do 5, 6, 7, and then take a break, start a new video. So I really like using whiteboards. I hope you do too. Number five. 2,226 divided by 53. 53 is really close to 50, so I'm just going to divide 200 by 50, and I think it's going to be 4. I'm confident enough I'm just going to do it right here. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So I've got 222 minus 212, 2 minus 2 is 0, and 1 minus 2 is, or 2 minus 1 is 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So I've got 10 as a remainder. Now I get to bring down this 6. And 53, we rounds to 50, goes on 100 twice, so I think it's going to be 2. 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 5 is 10. I've got 106 minus 106, no remainder. The quotient is 42, so on my line I put 42. Number six, divide 4,514 by 74. 74 is kind of a tricky number to divide by, but we'll work through it. 74 doesn't go into 4 or 45, but it does go into 451, and I'm not quite sure how many times. It's going to be maybe 6 or 7, I'm not really sure. Uh, if I did 6 times 7, I'd get 42, and this is 45, so I think 6 is a really good guess. I'm going to try that. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 2 is 44. 444 is less than 451, so I feel good about that guess. 6 times 74 is 444. Now I'm going to subtract. I've got 11 minus 4 is 7. This became a 4 here. 4 minus 4 is 0, and 4 minus 4 is 0, so I get to bring down the 74. 74 goes into 74 once. 1 times 74 is 74. No remainder. The quotient is my answer written right here, which is 61. Number 7. 3,493 divided by 37. 37 doesn't go into 3 or 34, but it does go into 349. I'm almost positive it's going to be 9 times. It's a bunch. Do 37 times 9 off to the side. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 6 is 33. So I get 333, which is just a little bit less than 349. That's perfect. 9 minus 3 is 6. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down this 3. How many times is 37 going to 163? I'm thinking 6, because if I rounded this to, well, that's probably not 6. It might be, I'm not sure how many times. Um, if I rounded this up to 40, 40 would go into 164 uh, times. I'm thinking it's either 4 or 5, so sometimes you just got to try both. I'm going to try 5. 37 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. That's too high. So it's going to be 4, 37 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times six is, uh, four times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 
I get 148, so the answer is 4. And I get 148, and then whatever I get here as my subtraction answer will be a remainder. 13 minus uh, 8 is 5, and 5 minus 4 is 1. I get a remainder of 15. So my answer that I'm going to record in my line is 94, remainder 15. And for just really quickly, I'm going to show you how you can check those on a calculator, especially number 7 here. Number 7, you're going to multiply your quotient by your divisor. So I'm going to do 37 times 94. And that's not going to be my exact answer because then i got to add my remainder. And I get 3493, which is what I was supposed to get. The original dividend is the answer. These other ones, you simply have to multiply your um, quotient, 61, times your divisor, 74, and it should get your um, dividend exactly. Perfect. All right, the next video will cover the rest of the page.